Welcome to Animal Tales with Tim Faulkner. That's me. And this is a kangaroo. There are a whole range of species of different kangaroos throughout Australia. Now just here around me, this is a kangaroo island kangaroo that comes from Kangaroo Island. The others behind me here are grey kangaroos. Now the larger species is the red kangaroo. Now, kangaroos are very unique. They hop and they've got these long foot pads. And the reason they hop is because it was an efficient way of traveling large distances in Australia. The tendons in their legs are very strong and each bounce requires not much energy. If you have a look, this is a big male. Uh, they've got wonderful big ears, a great sense of hearing. Their eyesight is also really good as well as their smell. Now, thick coat of fur that keeps them warm or cool in other areas depending on the species. Now, this is a big muscular male. He's our biggest male here at the reptile park. So his forearms are so strong. His belly is thick and hard. And the reason for that is because male kangaroos stand up and fight. They kick each other and they belt each other in the chest. Now, if you come down, look at the long pads. Okay, that front of the foot, it has tendons there that will help them to jump far distances. The kangaroos range in size from, ah, oh, this big, up to giants like that male I was just with. Now, the only forms of shelter they use are really to stay out of the heat of the sun. Some of the smaller species like rock wallabies or betongs or potteroos will build little nests or hide in caves. But kangaroos like this grey kangaroo here will really only shelter in forest away from predators and they'll come out into the grassland to feed or otherwise they just shelter under the shade of trees. Different species of kangaroos are found right throughout Australia. Now what they need is the eucalypt woodland to hide in or shelter and the grassland to come out and feed in. And like you can see here, grey kangaroos live in groups or mobs. Those mobs in areas where there is plenty of food can get up to as high as hundreds of kangaroos in one spot. The kangaroos eat a range of different things. Obviously, grass. That's their main diet. Look, these two are play fighting. Look. You've got two teenagers. So if you had big males, you would hear grunting and there would be fur coming off. But just like little boys and girls do, they wrestle and they play. But at the same time, they're developing skills for when they're bigger that they'll need to use to own a territory. Kangaroos drink water. They don't need much. And in some areas like Central Australia, a red kangaroo can go for months without water. As long as the water that he needs is coming from juicy bits of grass or bush or plants like this. Woo! Kangaroos breed all year round and it can depend on seasonal rainfall. If an area got a lot of rain and they know the grass is coming, they'll breed because they know it'll be a good time for the joeys. Others in some areas will breed only in autumn and the joey's in the pouch in winter and the joey emerges in spring when its food is its most lush. Kangaroos have one major natural threat and that's the dingo. And in Australia a long time ago, before the dingo was here, it was the Tasmanian tiger or the thylacine. Now, a healthy, strong kangaroo can still get away from dingoes. They can hop faster and for longer. Kangaroos play an important role with humans. They're one of our most iconic species. And to indigenous Australians, kangaroos were something that was a great food source, something that needed to be hunted. And also, long ago, their skin was used for warmth, like a jumper that we'd wear now. A bit of homework. I want to know how far a red kangaroo can leap in one bound. And a second bit of homework, Australia has different species of rock wallabies, similar to kangaroos. How many species of rock wallabies are there in Australia?
Thanks for watching everyone. Now, the keepers and I are looking after all of our animals and our families, but we all have a bit of extra time at the moment, like you probably do too. So this is a great distraction for us and hopefully you. Now, if you like what you've seen or want to show me your homework, just put it into the comments. This is what I do, connecting people with nature and that can't stop. I'll see you next time.